But, yeah. The next step is to make this. The plug. The plug that goes in the back of the piston. Okay? Now this requires three different sized pieces of PVC pipe. We got this piece that we cut off of the top. That we cut off of the, of the top of the uh, original piston that we didn't throw away and that we saved, right? Glare, glare. We got this that we cut off earlier. Now they're going to fit inside of each other, just like that. And then we have this piece that I cut off. It's a, you know, it's a six inch piece that I cut off from the bigger piece earlier. And that is going to go inside of that. Uh, but you know what? It doesn't fit. Yeah. It, it just barely doesn't fit. So we're going to need, we're going to go ahead and need to sand this thing down. Only going to need to sand, well, let's see here. About two inches of it. I would sand four inches of it so you have some leeway lee room. So you have some room to, in case you mess up. So, as for this, you need to glue these pieces together as well. That needs to be glued into here. And um, once it's glued, you should probably cut that, cut this thing off, so it's you know level. But yeah, I can do that once it's glued. All right, I'll get to sanding. All right, it has cooled down and seems to have worked. It fits. Not quite as much as I as I would want. It's just a little bit short, but I think this will work just fine just by doing that. So let's see here. I'm gonna do this. Yeah, there's a problem right there. It's like a fit. Let's see here. <clears throat> Actually, that looks like that will be enough. Okay. Now I just need to go ahead and trim that up. So, I'm going to trim it up. Alright, I'm back. I went ahead and trimmed this. I'm noticing that one end is actually pretty flat, while the other one is a little bit... Nah, kind of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the flat end facing towards the... the... piston. So, but... in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this in here. Come on. Oh, wrong end. <laughs> there we go. See? Now, because I melted it, I, I need to kind of force it in. So I'm going to use this to force it. There we go. Okay, now it's actually fairly tight. There. There. I forced it. Yay. Come on. Stop being fuzzy. There. See? And now that's going to act as the plug. It's going to do that. See? Yay! Aren't they special? See? <laughs> you know, I probably should have made this part a little bit longer. Oh well. It's not gonna. It's not gonna be. It's not gonna be bad. You know, I'm also realizing we're gonna need to sand this thing. We're gonna need to sand this thing a little bit up, a little bit too, because it needs to fit inside of the uh, one-inch PVC pipe, and I don't know if it will at the moment. If it does, we'll sand it. Well, I'll have to go buy sandpaper then. But till then, we got that going. Next step is to plug the tip of this. We don't we don't want air to freely flow through the tip of it. We want the air to flow through holes that we're going to make in the side. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just using my razor blade to flatten this thing out just a little bit. There we go. I'm also going to don't know what you call it, but I'm taking the edge off the outside of it. That's just so it won't catch on the piston when the piston comes back. It'll, it'll help to force. It'll help to force it into the back of the piston. There we go. And, see? Don't know if you can see that. Come on, focus on my hand. There we go. Um. What I also did was, if you're familiar with revolvers, you know, guns, I, I carved a forcing cone into the back of this. That's just so that, I don't know if you can see, but I, I carved it. All I did was I just took this around the inside of it a couple of times. So that will also help when this thing comes up, summing back, so it won't get caught up on anything. See? Okay. Also, time to cut that off. So, 
we'll cut that off right now. This material is actually pretty soft, so you can use a razor blade to cut it. Um, kind of. There we go. Oh, that was kind of loud. There we go. See? Razor. Yay. Now you're going to want to go ahead and glue this thing in using uh, PVC cement. But it's not going to hold that well against this material. So what we're going to go ahead and do is... I'm going to put a screw in there. I'm just going to drill a hole straight through here and put a screw right in there. So, I'm going to go find a drill thing. Drill bit. Alright. This is the screw I'm going to be using. This is the drill bit I'm using. You're, it's pretty flexible on the screw you use and the drill bit you use. Obviously, the, the drill bit's going to be specific to your screw, but it's a little bit flexible in that area. Oh. I gotta unmodify my my looking power drill. Okay. I'm just gonna make sure that this thing this drill bit will work. There we go. Nice clean hole in my desk. And it does not look like it will work. Let's try it in a piece of PC pipe. Okay, well this drill bit is a little bit too big. That is actually going to be okay because I will be using glue to glue it in. <laughs> yeah, I know, there, there's quite a lot of jerry-rigging going on in this thing. Alright, well, this is my one inch pipe and I'm just testing it to see if it will fit. And it looks like it won't. So, I am going to need to sandpaper this off. Probably so are you. So you're going to need to sandpaper this thing down. Just maybe reduce its outside diameter by maybe a millimeter, give or take. I know it's the first time I've actually been that specific in this area, but whatever. So, you're going to need to reduce its outside diameter All by that right. much. In lieu of not having any sandpaper, I stuck this thing on my lathe, you know, power drill, and I brought it down a little bit. Here is the pipe. Here is me sticking my finger with the plug in the pipe. See, it fits. It fits snugly. That's about what you want it to fit. You, you don't need this part to move. So, you know, just, as long as it fits snugly in there, that's good. Alright, let's put this thing back. There we go. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if you saw how much pressure I put on that, but finally got it in. All right. Well, next step is to drill some holes into it. Now, I, I can't say how many drills or, or how many holes will be good, how many holes won't be, but what I am going to do is I'm going to put four holes near the tip of it. That's so when I create, that's so when I make the plug, the um, I'm going to make the plug out of hot glue. The holes are also going to fill up the hot glue, which is are going to fill up with hot glue, and that's going to help keep the hot glue there, so the hot glue itself doesn't come flying out. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Four holes at the tip, which will be filled with hot glue. If I can do it. Christ. Come on. There we go. There. Yeah. 
and two more holes. There we go. And now I've got four holes in the very tip, like I said. I'm going to fill it with hot glue. Yeah, I should probably fill it with hot glue right now, just to make sure. Okay then. Let's see. I'm going to put it flat down on the table like that. Let's see if I can get the zoom in. There we go. There. Flat on the table like that. And then I'm going to fill it with hot glue. Not fill it all the way. I'm only going to fill about half a, a half an inch of the tip of it with hot glue. Like I said, that's just going to keep air from flowing through the tip of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these holes I made, I'm going to stick this, stick this into it, and then I'm going to inject it with hot glue until, it's, until it has enough. We'll see if that works. So far, so good. There we go. It looks pretty good, actually. Alright, well that uh, that definitely looks pretty good. I, I may have filled it up a little bit too far, but that's a, that'll be okay for now. Just going to go ahead and let that 